Hey people, Zarthwab here, and welcome to episode 16 of Paper Mario. Last time, we defeated, we completed Dry Guy's Toy Chest. We defeated the boss of the Toy Chest General Guy using the help of our new party member, Watt, who we saved from a big lantern ghost. And now, we are going to do our next feature interlude. And but but before we get started, I want to apologize from the bottom of my heart about the audio the audio issues that basically occurred in episodes 13, 14, and 15. Basically, what happened was this: during episode 13, I did not see this, but basically, when I was doing the muting process, that basically resulted in that whole twink voice issue. I apparently I could have sworn I muted two things, which. I thought that basically I did the mute on my standard microphone when in all actuality, I muted my audio and I did not correct this afterwards. So basically, just awkward silence all throughout and now I, ha and so basically that's why throughout the, those episodes you heard stock music, basically just stock music all throughout. It, so if the music didn't match, that's why, and I really want to apologize for that. Yeah, three episodes for the technical difficulties folder. Hey, Twink, those guards have stopped paying attention to us again. Let's sneak out of here. We might be able to find some news to help Mario. Do you think it's still safe to use that secret pass? Don't you think Bowser's figured it out by now? Though, frankly, it's not as if that proved to be a problem. Possibly since any guards there, I'll just destroy them using lethal methods. Their flesh shall burn, their bones shall break, and I shall paint the walls red with their blood. That would be my finger painting. It's all right, Twink. Bowser hasn't noticed anything. He looks scary, but he's basically a major bonehead. Let's get out of here. Come on. Oh, hey, now, don't you be dissing Bowser. Bowser's got a lot of great qualities, Peach. I mean, really, he's he's carrying towards you. I mean, he's not throwing you in the dungeon. Frankly, Bowser, he's not going on rants about why you wouldn't date him. I mean, then again, Bowser did kind of go on a bit of an incel rampage while by stealing the Star Rod. Okay, anyways, we are going to want to make our way over not to the library, but to the kitchen. Because we're going to see someone familiar. Oh, who are you? Why, I'm Princess Peach, and who might you be? Oh, you're Princess Peach? Everyone calls me the gourmet guy for some reason. I guess I better avoid you, King Bowser. You aren't supposed to leave the womb. But I am really hungry. Tell you what, I'll keep this a secret if you make me something really yummy. So, Princess Peach, what do you say? Will you cook me something or what? I'd love to cook for you, Mr. Gourmet Guy, but I have no ingredients and no utensils. Oh, that's no problem. There's a kitchen one filled below us. It's five star. You can go cook there. Here, yeah, you'll need this. This kid will open the door at least downstairs. Now you can get to the kitchen. Classical key. So, I'll just sit here and wait for my yummy meal, okay? Oh, yeah, I forgot. There are plenty of guards downstairs, so be careful. Don't lose my food, I will break you. Okay, let's head over to that kitchen. Head over to that kitchen as I brace for my brace for the worst. Okay, head on down. Head on down. No! I'm not gonna read the text. I'm not gonna be doing more edits than I need to. I'm sorry. And plus it's just gonna be the exact same thing as last time, probably. Okay, let's head out. Head out and fail about five more times. I don't have like my standard timer up because basically... Wait, why didn't I have my standard timer up? I could have had the timer up, then pause it, and then use the other timer for the timer portion. Okay, well, let's head down here. Hopefully we don't get caught again. Okay! Okay! Sneak around! Go, go, go! Go, go, gadget! Well, here's the kitchen. So, what shall we do first? Princess Peach! 
gosh, this looks like a good cookbook. Let's use this, okay? Okay, first off, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do the twing surprise. Basically, what this will entail. We take this book, we throw it in a frying pan, we put it over an open fire for approximately three seconds before it bursts into flames. At that point, we will take the burning book and we will throw it at Gourmet Guy, watch him burn, and laugh. Laugh until he is nothing but a charred, crisp tusk before our feet. How does it look, Twink? Anything looks really yummy. Oh, please, as if flavor is the main thing this guy's looking for. Frankly, Princess, he's your identical twin. If he's anything like you, then basically he's gonna just eat anything. I could put the, that bowl of cream around and he'd be happy. I mean, when I saw him, I was thinking, damn! I found Peach's identical twin. I mean, the, the resemblance is uncanny. I thought it was being doubled. I was like, okay, here we have really slim Peach, and then we have regular Peach who looks like a freaking truck. Who looks like a hippo who ate a pickup truck that basically well, that was packing another hippo in the trunk. Hang on a second. Oh, how about this? Special strawberry cake. Well, I raised the strawberries with, the, with that bleach in the sink over there. Sounds good. Let's whip one up. Oh, Twink, read me the recipe. No, it's your own cookbook. Read the recipe yourself. Well, okay, please listen carefully, because I'm not repeating this twice. You make me repeat this twice, I will whack you over the head with this book. First, put sugar and eggs in a bowl. Go ahead, Princess Peach. When you finish, let me know, and we'll move on to the next step. Okay, 
Okay, this is the last thing to do. Work on a checker with cream and strawberries. Let me know when you're all finished decorating. Don't eat the cream, princess. Don't eat the cream. Okay, let's take it off the gourmet guy. Thankfully, we don't have to navigate the halls. Here you go. Oh, I've been waiting so long. I've waited away on nothing. Yes, I guess you are the very you are the very definition of slim and trim. Thank you. Oh, oh, oh! Yeah, let's just and then he basically dies. This is why you know I just. Oh no, my heart's getting out! Phew! That was really good! I haven't felt this way since, well, ever! Since only my graduate, I'll tell you a secret. Well, this is been since I met Lava Lava on Lava Lava Island. It's, this island is to the south. You should tell this to Mario. Better tell him that there's also a nasty lava from our garden of Star Spirit. You better be careful. I really don't dislike Mario. That's why I'm telling you this. He gave me cake! He bought my loyalty. Twink, did you hear that? Mount Lava Lava, Lava Lava Island. The Star Spear is being held inside the volcano. Mario could really use this information, huh? Yes, he could. Twink, I'm sorry that I keep asking you to do this stuff, but can you go tell Mario? Yes, Princess, because I love going down there to the Earth where Zora Thwomp can screw over my audio for every five seconds. Of course I will. I'll do it right now. Let's see, how bad, let's see what audio shenanigans Zora Thwomp does this time. I'll be back soon, Princess Peach. Okay, I did not know that was Cammy. I thought that was Bowser. Tell him it's you, Mrs. Peach. You've got to keep it down, or it's not what we eventually use a Bowser voice on me. I actually, I intended to use a Bowser voice. Yes, magic. You're a prisoner, and as a prisoner, you need to keep. Ah, what? Why are you throwing out your rule, anyways? Gods! Get the princess! No! You are fresh air! After being cooped up in there for so long, I could really use some outdoor exercise! My name is Muscular, Mario! I must thank you for saving me! Now it's my turn to help you! Behold! Mario Star Entry goes up to four. Mario can now use Chill Out, a new Star Spirit power, which is very handy because it actually has attack for enemies. Or decreases it by two. With Chill Out, you can lower the attack power of all enemies. Follow me whenever you find yourself in trouble. I'll always come quickly at you in battle. Except when I don't feel like it. Or whenever that little monster twink tries to break my kneecaps. And when he's trying to burn down the entirety of Star Haven. Frankly, we have to do everything in our power to keep that little demon under control. Now, I'm going back to my dear old Star Haven to see how much of a twink burned down where we were at. Mario! I heard someone referring to me, so I have to kick their ass! Mario! Mario! I have news! News from the castle! Ye Honorable Star Spirit, you! Oh, I have been waiting to kick your ass for so long! Mario, turn away! Things are going to get bloody! I get ready for some Molotov Cocktail Fury! It's Twink! Quickly! He has come to the Earth to punish humanity! We have to stop him! Okay, it's up to me. Mario, you and I will have to team up. You will take him from the rear, I'll take him from the front. 
But frankly, I don't even know if we'll be able to take him. This little monster stopped all seven of us. Hi. Mm. I believe you are Twink the Destroyer. No. You're that youngster who recently ascended to star from Starborn Valley up to the Haven. To Star Haven. And who has been causing us hell ever since. You have burned down half of the Haven already. What? You remember my name? Oh, of course you should. Damn right you should remember my name. After all, I'm causing havoc. That's right. I burned down the buildings. I'm proud of it. I destroyed the innocents. There is no war crime as above my morality. My morals are bedrock low. They're lower than bedrock. They are not even present. That's how low they are. <laughs> Why, of course, we're like family. Not to mention you burned down half of Star Haven. You are a monster, a demon. We'll seal you away. Quickly, Mario, get the mason jar. Uh, uh, I'm so touched. I'll remember that next time I'm burning down a building. You know, when I'm destroying all the other star spirits, I'll only moderately lacerate you. Basically, I'll leave you alive, but by barely an inch of your life. That way, you can tell the atrocities. After all, how can an atrocity exist if there is no one to tell the legends of it? Ho oh, ho ho! Don't make such a fuss, lad! I'm sure you're going to do great things! But before that, you'll do horrible, horrible deeds that, shall, that should not be talked about. Deeds that would label you as a horrible, horrible being! I must take my leave now. Goodbye, Twink! Mario! I have to warn the others that he's gone! We have to pr we have to fortify our defenses! Oh, your time will come, Muscular! Your time will come! Your defenses will be nothing before me! I will destroy them like paper beneath the flame! In fact, I'll have fire! I'll have lots of fire! You will be crying as you choke on the smoke of my flame! Well, I talked with Muscular, the honorable star spirit! I rarely have such a chance, even at Star Haven. I'm shaking. <laughs> now I have to go burn something, Mario. Oops, I'm sorry. I have some important news from the castle. According to the information Princess Peach I got, after she baked the cake and surprisingly enough, didn't eat any of it, it seems that one of the honorable star spirits is being held at Mount Lava Lava on Lava Lava Island. You wouldn't believe what the princess went through to get this information. She baked a cake, damn it. I hope it will be of help. I'm going back to rejoin Princess Peach now. Mario, as always, good luck. The princess and I will keep looking for useful information. Okay, anyways. Let's basically pull up the stopwatch because we have top five minutes left before basically the 25-minute limit is up. Rather, it isn't an explicit limit per se. But yeah, we can actually get a move on and do some stuff. Before that, though, I have some stuff that I can do. First off, let's drop off this letter at the Toad House. Yes, we have the cookbook. There we go. Oh, sorry, sorry. Basically, we can now bake with two ingredients. I'm sorry, my mind was in other places. Let's also restore Rolf's calculator. Because Rolf, he can't do anything without his calculator. Sorry, bud, I had to go to some shop. Come some age I guess on my calculator. Can you believe that? I need that thing to calculate sales, but I'm not a genius when you find that little punk. Hey, buddy, isn't that my calculator? You're telling me you got it back from the shy guys? Yeah, and your face, shy guy. I got my shop again. Oh, man, how can I repay you? I know, take this. This is a special badge, but I use it with care. The I Spy badge, basically. You can find hidden panels with it, which is completely null and void because of the internet. Guess if we could, we would have got this if we hadn't gotten that calculator back. He can't open the shop again, all because of you. Thank you, mister. Okay. First off, let's check out the sign. To Toad News on Flash. What, what Shy Guy problem? Mario Trounces to Thieves. The little larceny lovers notice the Shy Guys have finally quit terrorizing the town. Mario tracked them to their toy box hideout, valiantly dispersed their ranks, and managed to rescue an imprisoned star spirit. To those who would prey on the innocent and weak, we say this. Mario will prevail. I've come back. I'm sure you missed me. I've come back. I'm sure you missed me. I've got a full blue plan co for coins. See you on the road. Can't see Koopa. Yes, remember this for later. Before that, though, 
Let's go over to this house. This is Mario! A shy guy stole my dictionary! Please get back from him! I I'm losing IQ points! All I have left is the Necronomicon, Mario, and I don't want to unleash the powers of hell upon them! My dictionary! Oh, wonderful words! Dang money, thanks, Mario! You'd like me to translate this note for you? Let's see. Aha, it seems to be written in the language of the Shy Guys. Let's see here. Yes, axes and silent dim. Yes, it says hit yellow, green, red, and then blue. One odd thing to write down. Any idea what it's about? Okay, anyways. Before that, let's head out to... Let's go over to Koopa Village. Because basically, we have letters to... We have a letter to deliver. Let's see what items. Nothing I really want. So let's head over to the post office. But I still can't believe that whole issue with the sound happened. I swear. I can't get over that. Shy guys stole a bag of mail from us. We failed our duty. Gum rain or sleet or snow or shy guys. We're supposed to deliver no matter what. Whatever can we do? Oh, that's it. Thank you. That's it. The bag. Thank you, Mario. Oh, you'll never know how many people will be happy to get mail. Let me give you a small thank you gift. Okay, what's our star total up to? 14, nice. 10 more and we'll be able to get that flower saver badge, nice. Okay, do I have, oh right, I have one star point. One star point remaining, hooray. Yeah, I love how that just happened, 99 star points. 99 problems, but star point is the, 90, is the one problem. Okay, let's head over to here. Head to Koopa Village, deliver that letter. I know I've been putting this off, but frankly, I would like to do that. Keep this episode short because I have to do some edits afterwards because I just realized the horrors of that whole thing. I gotta get the stock music and it's gonna be a whole lot of fun. Anyways, let's pipe, pipe, which one? Here it is, middle pipe. And what is going on in here? They're arguing the house! I'm never going! I'm not going in there! Oh, this is a fun one. Pop it! Pop it! It's all useless! It's so annoying! The sky is a simp! And he must be stopped! Oh, pop it! Chinas! She probably dumped you because you never stopped talking! No, you shut up! My love for Bob is deep like the salt of the sea! Bomb! It would be dumb constantly won't discover to be Bob Bomb! Did he. Did you hear this guy, Bobette? He never stopped talking about you, but a bomb! Oh, Bobette! Shut up, please! Right now, think about something else for two seconds, will ya? You're really starting to get on my nerves. Boom! Bob, I made my heart to this next explosion. Watch and see my love. Bob, Bob, Pip, Bob. Yeah, I love how we just have this moment. Just Bob, Pip, forget in Cooper's house. What the hell, Mario? Why is this happening in my house? Okay. Anyways, let's go to the entrance of the village. And we'll end things off. Hopefully, hopefully, no, Chuck Quizmo isn't there. Let's talk to you. How are these Mario going swimming out? You're a Cooper, correct? That is Mario Gary. I delivered letters. I believe I have one for you. Hang on a moment. I know what I do we deliver. I'm say John is never done. Hey, thanks. You gave me a good time. I was just about to send a letter myself. Oh, would you look at this? It's a letter from Musty. The two of us are always talking, thinking about all on the same lines. He's one of my fishing boats, I told you. If you, don't want, if you don't fish, you should. What a hobby. And the thing, I was just about to send letters to all my fishing buddies about a trip. Once you have a good place up, I'll write a letter back to Musty. So, could you send this along for me? Thanks so much. And to a friend of mine who's always fishing at the Toad Down Boy. He's easy to find. Thanks again. So, we'll go there next time anyways. I really appreciate that you stuck around to watch this episode. You're a great viewer. I hope you come back with the next one. If you like this video, like, subscribe, comment, share, do whatever you want. With that, I'll see you next time. Bye.